Hey friends, I'm so excited you decided to click on this video because I have several high-end Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs that you're not gonna wanna miss. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Okay, sweet friends, for the first DIY, I'm gonna start off with one of these little village houses from Dollar Tree, and the tops were already kinda coming off, so I just pulled that off completely, and then I sanded down the excess hot glue that was left behind down with my sander. I made sure that the house lit up before moving on to the next step, because I did not want to complete it and then have a house that did not work. So what I did was I took my ink Waverly chalk paint and gave it two good coats to cover up all of those colors on the bottom piece as well as the top piece. I also made sure to paint the edges because I knew that once I put the roof back on, you would still kind of be able to see for some odd reason, these do not fit together very well. Um, but like I said, I went ahead and painted the roof. Now where the little bell is, this is a firehouse and it was kind of tricky to get it colored in, but all I did was just kind of push my brush into that little piece to cover it as best as I could. Next, I take this candlestick that I found at Dollar Tree. Look how absolutely gorgeous these are. I did find several different sizes, so I did pick up one of each size. And I did not have my white Waverly chalk paint in my house at this point. So I just took my white chalk paste and put a little bit on the end of my chip brush that is always linked down in the description box below in my Amazon shop, as well as the pin comment. And I just put a little bit on my brush, dab off the excess, and then dry brush all the way around this candlestick. As always, if you do not like dry brushing, you can totally skip this step. Also, I dry brushed the entire house as well. And once again, if you don't like it, skip this step as well. So I sent a picture of this to my best friend and she said that it looked like a haunted house, which I kind of have to agree. So if you guys think that it looks like a haunted house as well, you could totally paint this white or a different color and then dry brush with like brown or, you know, something else. But once I was done and she said that it looked like a haunted house, I almost painted it white until I looked at my Christmas decor and it did match really well. So I ended up leaving it black however like I said if you personally don't like it then you can totally paint yours a different color I went ahead and glued the roof back on and then I also glued the candlestick to the bottom making sure that I could still access the on and off switch and then I took a chalkable chip these are reusable so once you're done you can totally remove this and add a different image. You can find these on my chalk site linked down in the description box as well as the pinned comment. But I just took off this little transfer from a mini pack. I can also link all of the chalk couture items that I used in the same spots. Um, but I just went ahead and transferred that image on. Once you peel back that transfer, you reveal your gorgeous image. That is why I love Chalk Couture so much. It's so easy to use. It comes out so crisp and clean. And just like you see here, I made a little mistake. And because this is removable, I was able to just wipe that away with a paper towel. Now hindsight is 2020, y'all. If you guys recreate any of these projects, please keep in mind that I did not have... Um, not hot glue, super glue until I went outside and grabbed it because it just did not want to stick. Hot glue does not like to stick to metal. So definitely use a stronger holding glue. But I went ahead, I glued down the chalkable chip to the middle. I made a simple bow with some red and white buffalo check ribbon that I got at Walmart. And then I took some greenery from a pick from Dollar Tree. I pulled it off of the pick and then glued it to the back. 
Now, I thought I was done there, but my friend had mentioned that I should probably put a wreath on here, and I was like, you know what, girl, that is a good idea. So all I did was just take a little pick of greenery from Dollar Tree. I snipped the edges, basically gave it a haircut so that it looked more higher end, and then made a simple little wreath. I glued it together with some hot glue, and then I made a tiny little bow. Look how cute it is out of some baker's twine glued that to the top of the wreath and then glued that to the top of my firehouse and that was it you guys look how absolutely stunning this is now again I could have painted it white but once I had it against my decor like I said I absolutely loved the color and I thought that it was a nice touch to my decor so let me know down in the comments would you guys have painted this a different color or do you like it the way that I have it so if you guys are enjoying this content, I would greatly appreciate for you guys to do all the youtube -y things. Share this out. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you a part of my crafty family. And also comment down in the comment section. All those things really help my channel to grow. Let's jump back in. For DIY number two, all of you guys who say that you are really nervous to do DIYs and you feel like you're going to mess it up, trust me, girl, this is one that you cannot mess up. So I'm going to start off with this little candy dish from Dollar Tree, and I take the sticker off the bottom, and then I dry brush some white Waverly chalk paint over the candlestick like we did in the first DIY. Now, I actually did this DIY on live on TikTok last night. So if you guys are not following me on TikTok or Instagram, I will leave all of those links in the description box and the pinned comment for you. Um, but I just take some trees from Dollar Tree and this dish was kind of tricky to decorate. I had several other ideas but it just did not fit down on the inside so you know what sometimes less is more and I love the way that it turned out so it was a happy mistake no big deal but I just put two trees from Dollar Tree down at the bottom and then I use this faux snow y'all this stuff is a mess I do not recommend definitely grab you some um, sea salt or something of that nature because plastic with the foam beads just was a mess it went everywhere and the static was horrific so if you're going to use that just wipe the inside with a dryer sheet and you won't have the issue that i had but once I put the faux snow in, then I just took some berries off of a pick from Dollar Tree, threw that inside, and then I put some fairy lights that I got off Amazon in a huge pack, and I have those linked in my Amazon shop for y'all. And then because I knew that this was gonna be hard to glue down to the candlestick, I just took a large tongue depressor or craft stick, whatever you wanna call it. I call them popsicle sticks, but... I always have some kind of person in the comments, uh, you know, correcting me. So I figured, <laughs> I figured I would call it the correct term for once. Um, but I just glued that down to the candlestick and then I hot glued the candy dish to that popsicle stick just so that way I had a little bit more to glue to. And then I took this ribbon that I got at Walmart. I kind of folded it over on itself several times to make a double bow. I tied it in the middle with some jute and cut the excess jute off. And then for the tail, I just cut a different piece and kind of folded it in a V. Now, because this is not double-sided, you're going to have to kind of fold it over on itself. That way, the correct um, side is facing towards you, if that makes sense. Um, and it was a little bit too long, so I did just cut the end off of the tail, and then I glued that to the back of my bow. If that made no sense, y'all can see what I'm doing here. And then I glued the bow to the bottom of my candlestick with some hot glue. Once again, please use a stronger holding glue. Um, in the end, I ended up gluing it down with some super glue, um, but you live and you learn, you know? <laughs> I have to do what I have to do, y'all. These days, I'm doing the best I can crafting in the kitchen. I have supplies everywhere. It's a hot mess, but we make it work. So once I had the bow glued down, then I just glued some greenery down. The same thing we did in the first DIY to the back. And I also just shoved the battery pack 
to the lights down into the snow in the back that way you couldn't see it and literally you guys i love this diy it was so simple and so easy to put together but my gosh it looks so high end i love the way it turned out and i can't wait to hear what y'all think of it as well And last but certainly not least, DIY number three, I'm going to take one of these house picture frames from Dollar Tree and I start by taking it out of the plastic and then taking the back off of it. Now for this step, you have to be very, very careful and make sure that your transfer is fuzzed very well because we are transferring on two paper essentially um i believe this is kind of a thicker cardstock i don't think it's paper it's actually cardstock but just make sure that your transfers are fuzzed meaning you can put it on your shirt or a towel just something to put some fuzz on the back so that it doesn't stick and then i transferred on merry christmas to the top next i took this little tree cut out that comes with the pack from my chalk site with all of the little tiered tray accessories and I also take the coordinating transfer and transfer on that tree with my pesto chalk paste and then I also wanted it to have like a gold sheer to it so I just went right over top of that with my gold paste and then I peeled back my transfer and look how gorgeous this tree is I absolutely love it I set that aside to dry and then last week's or no monday's diy um i used those little 3d craft kits from dollar tree and i had some pieces left over so i just took the santa out of that pack and i painted him with the traditional colors that you would normally see a santa have so um, red white and black and then for the bear I wasn't too sure what I was going to do with him but I ultimately decided to use a little bit of water and I went over the bear with water first then I took my brown chalk paste and just dabbed a tiny tiny bit on the end of my paintbrush and then I was able to essentially stain the bear with that paste Now this is the fun part y'all you can do yours however you like you can change up the colors you can make your bear a different color it's totally up to you now of course y'all know i'm super extra so of course santa had to have a buckle so i just used my gold chalk paste to dab on a little buckle on my santa for the next part, I don't know why I did not capture this. I thought the camera was on, but it wasn't. I just took that paper that was in there because when I laid down the tree and put the paper on the back, I just felt that it was missing a little bit of something and I didn't have any scrapbook paper inside the house. So I just made shiplap myself. I drew a bunch of lines and then I colored in each line a little bit differently so that it looked like shiplap. I put that in my picture frame. Now, if you guys are doing this, hold off. Don't put that in just yet, and you'll see why here in a minute. So I laid out my Santa where I thought that I wanted him, and I did not like that empty space on the left side, so I just cut down some craft sticks, and I painted one of them white and one of them with my Crimson Waverly chalk paint. And then for the white present, I took my baker's twine and I just wrapped that around like you would a regular present. I tied it in the back and then instead of making a double knot, I just tied it once and then put a dab of hot glue and then kind of pulled it tight and let the glue dry. That way, once I glued this down to my picture, it wasn't popping off as bad as it would with a knot behind there. I repeated that exact same step with the smaller one, but instead of using baker's twine, I used some jute, and then I made two simple bows with the baker's twine and the jute and glued that down to my presents. And if y'all are still here, please leave me a Christmas tree down in the comment section so that I know y'all are the real OGs and you're still here. 
So once I was done my presents, then I just laid it out before I glued it. That way I knew exactly where I wanted everything. And then once I was satisfied with the way it looked, then I did just go ahead and glue all those pieces down with some hot glue. I started with the bigger present and then I put the Santa kind of on top. I wanted this to be like a 3D effect. And then I glued the smaller present kind of on an angle on the left hand side. Next, I took one of these bamboo sticks from my Amazon shop, link down below, and I just cut it down to the size of the frame and hot, or not hot glued, um, super glued that to my candlestick. And then once that was dry, then I went ahead and glued the frame with some super glue down to the bamboo stick as well. I then just dry brushed some of my uh, antique wax across my faux shiplap and then I just glue some lights on the inside of my frame once again use a heavier glue than hot glue because it's glass and I was just having a time y'all this was six in the morning <laughs> this was six in the morning mama's got to do what mama's got to do when I can do it so whatever no big deal I just do whatever works for me at the time and I make mistakes that way I can tell you guys how not to make the mistakes that I make so once I had my lights all glued down my son was like freaking out so I did not have time to glue the rest of the lights around um, if I did have time I would have just um you know, completed the entire thing with all of the lights instead of bunching them up in the back and gluing that down. But no big deal if you guys do this DIY, just go ahead and glue your lights all the way around and then glue your battery pack to the back. Last but not least, I made a simple bow out of that same ribbon that we used for the double bow in the previous DIY. Glued that down to the bottom of the frame where the candlestick meets the frame and then I also took some picks from Dollar Tree cut those down and put those next to the bow as well and that was it for this video you guys I absolutely love every single one of these DIYs I'm curious to know which one is your absolute favorite or as always can you not pick one thank you guys so much for being here thank you so much for being a part of my journey and my story you guys are a huge part of my story and I just want you guys to know I appreciate every single one of you more than you could ever know. I also want you to know if nobody has told you today, girl, you are stunning. You're absolutely gorgeous. You're worthy. And I love you with all my heart and soul. I appreciate you. And I hope to see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to share this out. Hit that thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys want any ketone info on how I just recently lost 60 pounds in six months, let me know, text my number, or if you want all Chalk Couture items at 40% off, text my number, the word Chalk or Ketone. There's huge, huge deals going on for Black Friday, so y'all don't want to miss out. Check the pinned comment as well as the description box. I love y'all so much. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye. the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.